Um, hey guys, it's Tiff the Ender here, and I want to bring you a quick video today on how to read rainbow graphs, or more commonly known as contour plots. So uh, today's post, just to give some quick context, is on Israel building Trinity Force versus him building Infinity Edge. Um, I wanted to do a comparison of how much more damage he does with an Infinity Edge as opposed to a Trinity Force, depending on the number of abilities he uses and how many basic attacks, how many crits, how many sheen procs. So I've got this code here that helps me calculate all of that. Um, if I run this code here, I will get rainbow graphs. I just want to help you understand how to read them. Now, uh, give it a few seconds to run. Let me get a graph. There we go. Here's our first graph. And there's our second graph. Now, as you can see, um, there are two axes, and the axes are filled with colors. Now, what does this graph mean? So, remember how I said we're comparing Infinity Edge damage versus Trinity Force damage? Okay, it's assumed that he has no other items except for one of those. So he's either he's got Trinity Force and nothing else, or he's got an Infinity Edge and nothing else. Okay, and he's pulling off his complete spell combo. He's going Q, W, E, R. He casts all those spells once. He basic attacks five times. And out of those five basic attacks, three of them proc Sheen. And he's got a variable number of crits. So if he crits five times, and he's got three other bo 300 extra bonus damage, so let's say three fully stacked bloodthirsters, and he crits five times off those five basic attacks, you see that Infinity Edge gives you roughly 1400 extra damage over having a Trinity Force. Now, let's say you want a different value, let's say three crits, and 300 bonus damage, okay, well, let's say 3 crits and 250 bonus damage, let's say 2 fully stacked bloodthirsters and roughly a BF sword. You will be doing some slight shade of green here, so that's around in between 600 to 800 extra damage of the infinity edge. Now, this is the standard rainbow graph that you all be being used to. You probably learned how to read it by now, if not, I hope this video helped you understand that. Um, I'll be introducing something slightly different today. Um, as you can see, this graph is exactly the same graph as this one, except it's segmented. If you notice, there's a discrete number of crits here. You can't have two and a half crits, so all the data in between here is completely useless. So what I've done is just segment that. So with two, you see this is all flat. There's no variation horizontally here. So if you look at the same values again, 250 bonus damage. Actually, no, 300 bonus damage up here. Let's use that and 5 crits as before, you'll see that shade of red, that's around 1400 damage. It's the same values, you can check, cr double check across different values, it's the same. So just in conclusion, to read a rainbow graph, first you need to understand what the graph is. Today it's Infinity Edge minus Trinity Force, so how much more damage does an Infinity Edge do than Trinity Force? These values show you how much more damage, and the areas in the graph correspond to different abilities. So if you have five basic attacks, you crit none of those times, and you proc Sheen three times, you will be doing around the same damage as if you had a Trinity Force, regardless of how much bonus damage you have, because bonus damage is common across both, except for the crit damage increase. So um, I hope that helped you understand how to read rainbow graphs or contour plots, and I hope that cleared up a lot of things. I know a lot of people have been confused with these graphs. I hope that helped. Um, read on for the Israel's post. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the blog. Cheers, Stiff Ender.